Hello, is your pancreas doing fine or could it be facing a serious problem? Today, I'm going to talk about a global alert that has doctors and scientists seriously worried. Pancreatic cancer. And believe it or not, it's rising at an alarming rate in a population we thought was safe. Young adults. Why is it so important for you to understand more about this type of tumor? simply because pancreatic cancer is about to become the second leading cause of cancer death, overtaking colon cancer. And the worst part, it is notoriously silent in its early stages, which makes it a sneaky enemy. In this video, I will review the seven warning signs of pancreatic cancer, the ones you must never ignore. I will explain why it's rising so fast, especially among young adults, and most importantly, how to identify it, and what can you do to protect yourself and your loved ones. But first, go ahead and like this video, because the more people engage with it, the more YouTube understand this is vital information and share it with more families. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Pancreatic cancer in young people is real and it's growing. By sharing, you could save a life that has no idea of the risk. Share it now. And tell me in the comments, do you know someone who had pancreatic cancer? Did this news about increase in young people surprise you? Where in the US or the world are you watching from? Write it down below. Let's go. It's time to discover the signs your body may already be giving you. The seventh symptom, abdominal pain that spreads to sides or back. The pancreas is located right behind the stomach, close to the spine. When a tumor grows there, it can press on nearby nerves, causing pain that's not just in the belly. It may radiate to the sides or to the mid-back. At first, it might be an on and off pain, but it can worsen, especially after eating or lying down. Do not ignore persistent pain in this region. The symptom number six, loss of appetite and unexplained weight loss. You know that person who eats very little, feels full quickly, and yet keeps losing weight. Losing weight without dieting can be a dangerous sign. In pancreatic cancer, the tumor can interfere with digestion and nutrient absorption. On top of that, the cancer cells devour the body's energy. The result, rapid and explained weight loss. If you or someone is losing weight without trying, not dieting or taking medication like Ozempic, investigate. The fifth sign, yellowing of the skin and eyes, jaundice. This is more well-known symptom, but still alarming. When a tumor in the pancreas block the ducts that carry bile from the liver to the intestine, bile builds up in the blood. And that yellow color is a major red flag. This built up causes yellowing in the skin and the whites of the eyes jaundice. If this happens, see a doctor immediately. Once a patient came into my office with that bright yellow tone, she said, I think I have hepatitis, doctor. I immediately ordered an urgent CT scan. The result, pancreatic cancer. Poor sign, pale or floating stools and dark urine. This symptom is directly linked to jaundice. If bio can't reach the intestine because of a blocked duct, stools lose their normal brown color and turn pale, clay colored, or even float due to undigested fat. At the same time, excess bio in the blood is filtered out by the kidney, making the urine very dark like Coca-Cola. That's why I always say, Pay attention to the color of your pee and your poop. Symptom number three, 
itchy skin. Jaundice can also cause intense irritating itching on the skin even without any visible rash. It's the buildup of biosubstances under the skin that triggers this sensation. And subtle but important signs, especially if it comes with other symptoms like jaundice. Second sign, new onset diabetes or diabetes that suddenly gets harder to control. Pay close attention to this. Many times this was the clue that led me to discover the tumor. The pancreas also produces insulin, the hormone that controls blood sugar. A tumor can damage insulin producing cells leading to sudden type 2 diabetes especially in people over 50. Or, if someone already has diabetes, it may suddenly get harder to control, require more medication. If this happens, investigate the pancreas. And the first sign, pain and swelling in the arm or leg, blood clots. This is a lesser known but extremely important sign. Pancreatic cancer increases the risk of blood clots, especially in the leg veins, deep vein thrombosis, DVT. If you've never had DVT and suddenly develop one, it's worth investigating. The clot might be the very first clue. It can cause pain, swelling, and redness in just one leg. If this happens, seek medical help urgently. Beyond the risk of clot itself, it could be the first visible sign of pancreatic cancer that has been silent until now. Shocking fact, pancreatic cancer is no longer just for the elderly. Now that you know the warning signs, get ready for the fact that will shock you and change everything we thought about this disease. Pancreatic cancer is no longer just an illness of older people. Recent research confirms frightening rise in young adults. A recent study published in April 2025 in the prestigious journal JAMA analyzed data from millions of people in the US and confirmed doctors fear. Pancreatic cancer is rising at an alarming rate and the fastest growth is in the youngest population between ages 15 and 30. For. Yes, you heard that right. Teenagers and young adults. Dr. Irvin Trindad, one of the study's authors, said he's seen more and more patients in their early 30s at his clinic with this diagnosis. His question is the same one we all ask. Why is a 30-year-old walking into my office with a mess in their pancreas. This changes everything. Pancreatic cancer is no longer just something to worry about for your parents or grandparents. It's hitting your generation or your kid's generation. So why this frightening increase, especially in young adults? What are the risk factors for pancreatic cancer? We don't know everything yet, but science points to some well-known culprits. Risk factor number one, smoking. Smoking doubles the risk. Even with lower smoking rates today, the effects can take decades to decline. Risk factor number two, obesity and belly fat. Rising obesity, especially abdominal fat, is one of the main suspects behind the increase of the cases. Risk factor number three, pre-diabetes and type two diabetes. As I said earlier, new onset diabetes in older adults can be a red flag for pancreatic cancer. But pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes themselves are also risk factors. Risk factor number four, harmful chemical exposure. Pesticides, petrochemicals. We know the world is increasingly polluted, but avoiding exposure is crucial. Risk factor number five, chronic pancreatitis, including hereditary. Long-term inflammation of the pancreas increases its risk. Risk factor number six, genetic syndromes and family history. Gene mutations like BRCA1 and having close relatives with the disease raise susceptibility. 
knowing your family history is vital. Why does pancreatic cancer kill so many? Because the greatest difficulty with pancreatic cancer is early diagnosis. The symptoms when they appear are often vague and easily mistaken for other digestive problems. And unfortunately, early stage tumors often don't show up on routine imaging tests. Take Steve Jobs, for example. He was being treated for kidney stones. His doctor ordered a CT scan and found a tiny suspicious spot on his pancreas. She told him, you need to get this checked immediately. Six months later, she ran into him at a restaurant and asked, what did the tests show? He said, I didn't bother. I'm not feeling anything. She literally dragged him out of for another CT scan. That tiny speck had grown into a lemon-sized tumor. When the biopsy came back, the radiologist cried because it was one of the most curable types if caught early. But as we know, Steve Jobs died of pancreatic cancer, just like Pavarotti, Patrick Schwaze, and so many others. How is pancreatic cancer diagnosed? Imaging tests like CT scans, which confirmed Steve Jobs' case, MRI, PET scans, and endoscopic ultrasounds, where a camera goes close to the pancreas for a detailed look. Blood tests looking for tumor markers like CA99. High levels can suggest cancer, but they are not definitive. Biopsy, laparoscopy to confirm diagnosis and assess spread. Genetic testing to identify hereditary predisposition and guide treatment. Treatment depends on the stage, tumor location, and overall health. It includes surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, and target therapies. And yes, I've personally seen patients who were cured of pancreatic cancer. Cure is possible. Surgery is the only realistic path to curing pancreatic cancer, but only if the tumor is confined to the pancreas and can be completely removed. Unfortunately, most cases are diagnosed after the cancer has already spread, metastasized, making cure much harder. That's why prevention and clinical suspicion are absolutely crucial, especially now with the rise in young people. How to protect yourself and reduce the risk? Prevention. We can't prevent pancreatic cancer 100%, but we can reduce our risk and the risk for our loved ones. Prevention is our biggest weapon. Tip number one, don't smoke. If you smoke, quit now. If someone in your family smokes, help them quit. Tip number two, limit alcohol. Heavy drinking damages the pancreas. Tip number three, Eat real food, a diet rich in fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains fights inflammation and obesity, major risk factors. Tip number four, cut back on red meat, processed foods, and sugar. These contribute to inflammation, obesity, and diabetes. Tip number five, maintain a healthy weight, especially reduce belly fat. It's crucial to lowering your risk. Tip number six, exercise regularly. Staying active helps control weight, diabetes, and inflammation. Tip number seven, stay alert to the signs. Know the warning symptoms. If you notice anything suspicious, especially the red flags I mentioned, see a doctor immediately. Do not wait. For high-risk people, such as those with a strong family history or certain genetic syndromes like von Hippolindo. Doctors may recommend regular screening with specialized tests. Talk to your doctor if this applies to you. So yes, pancreatic cancer is a silent, aggressive enemy, and the news about its rise in young people is a shock that forces us to act. But now you have 
the knowledge to recognize the warning signs and symptoms and to protect yourself. If this video opened your eyes, and I hope it did, share it with more people. Hit the like button. Every click helps spread this life-saving information to more families. And if you are not subscribed yet, do it now and join our community where we share health information that can save lives. If you want to know about colon cancer, currently the second leading cancer killer, watch this essential video. In Portuguese, is the most view video in the world about the topic. My name is Andre Wamber, I'm a cardiologist, and this is Dr. Dre Health Tips. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.